back. And we're going to do what this deck was made to do. <laughs> and get a ton of damage on the Golem and a ton of damage onto the King Tower. Or on the Princess Tower. And then look at how disgusting this is. Like, if you're wondering why this is getting nerfed next season, that's why. What's up, everyone? It's Turkey here. And today we're going to be playing with one of the best, if not the best decks in the game. Royal Hogs, uh, Evo Skeletons, Evo Bomber. Looks like this guy might have a, a similar deck to me. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and go like this. Little Prince on that side. And, um... <laughs> I just realized my Canyon is level 10. But yeah, this is one of the best decks in the game. The number one player in the world, Ian77, currently is running this deck. It's so strong in the meta. Uh, even if you don't have the Canyon here, it's really good. The Evo Bomber and the Evo Skeletons are just flat out broken, uh, to be completely honest. I'm going to go like this, an Evo Bomber at the bridge, and get a ton of damage onto their King Tower, or onto their Princess Towers. And also DPS down this Royal Giant. And even my level 10 Cannon here, we only get one shot with the RG. Um, so yeah, this game, I wasn't expecting it to, to go as fast as that, but pretty much over. The reason I'm not playing uh, at in a Classic Challenge like I usually do for a lot of my YouTube videos is the Evo Bomber doesn't actually work in the Classic Challenges. I don't really know why. Um, so he pops his ability. I'm going to go like this. And I don't really think they're going to be able to defend this. So yeah, this deck is really strong. Uh, in Triple Elixir, this deck is absolutely crazy because you can drop a Little Prince in the back and just like cycle hog EQ and there's almost nothing they can do to defend. So this was a really <laughs> weird game to be completely honest. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take the three crown and move on to the next one. So GG's, we'll see you there. Into our next match here. And I, I took Cannoneer out. Um, and Cannoneer is pretty underleveled. If you have Cannoneer maxed, I think it synergizes good with this deck, but I did not. Okay, so we have to cycle to our Tesla here. Uh, Hog. Hog's a pretty good matchup, honestly. You have a lot of answers for a Hog Rider. So you don't got to worry too much. I'm going to Little Prince here to help clean this up. And yeah, you don't truly... You can win most matchups, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm playing here at 9,000 trophies with some underleveled cards. And I really think we're going to be okay. Earthquake covered. Okay, drops the Mega Knight. No big deal. I'm going to try and get a King Tower activation. Uh, but no guarantees here. You know, like that. And we're okay. We survive. Like I said, you have a very, very good means of defending. So I was at a very large elixir disadvantage there. So I didn't panic. I just pulled the Mega Knight to my King Tower and got a nice King Tower activation. Knowing that they have Mega Knight, I want to be, I want to play this matchup a little differently. I kind of want to rely on split lane pressure more than anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to split Hogs and we're going to split Evo Skeletons. We also have our Evolved Baryon cycle when they go for the Mega Knight. If they go for the Mega Knight, if not, those Evo Skeletons are going to go in. And they already are. And that's what I'm talking about. That push specifically is damn near impossible to stop. Like, it's just so good. Um, so yeah, he has Hog Mega Knight. That's actually um, kind of a common deck like at mid-ladder. He spent a lot right there. I'm going to go in with my hogs. I know I, I talked about doing split lane pressure, but he doesn't have a ton of elixir right now. So he's probably going to go for like, yeah, bats or something cheap. And we're going to get a ton of damage. I wouldn't do that if they had enough elixir to go in for a Mega Knight. Nice. And then at this point, we've pretty much secured the dub. Um, we just kind of got to chill, defend, and Earthquake is almost enough to take their tower. So easy peasy. This deck is seriously so good. Like really, it's in my top three decks for this entire season. Okay, once that pops, I'm going to go for Skeletons to help defend it. Delivery gets down. Ice Spirit just to pressure. Maybe force out the Evo Bats. Yeah, okay, nice. Bats come out. No Evos, no problem. I'm going to pop the ability early and maybe bait out a Mega Knight. That'd be nice, honestly, if we could bait that out. Yep, perfect. Now we can go in for Hogs in the opposite lane and not feel bad about ourselves. Mm -hmm. King Tower helps out there. Royal Delivery here. I'm going to Tesla high just to pull all of that over. Nice. And my Evo Berry is doing work. The splash radius is insane on this. And yeah, that's really well defended. So 20 seconds left in the game. I'm going to cycle a little Prince in the back. Uh, I have my Tesla in cycle. And there's really no way that this person breaks through. So really well, well played. You would think that Mega Knight would be a really good counter to Royal Hogs. But it really isn't. So Barry, Earthquake, Delivery, and he's not breaking through our defense. So good game to our opponent, and we'll go ahead and catch y'all in the next one. Cool, and our next match here. And like I said, uh, Evo, Barry's getting a nerf next season, so I don't know 100% if this deck is going to be as good, but it'll definitely be really good. Okay, my man. <laughs> what? 
Okay, good game. Um, um, all right, good game. We'll go ahead and catch y'all in the next one. All right, into our next match here against Laughing. We'll see if they're laughing at the end of this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to cycle my skeletons here. Minor poison is pretty common in the meta. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they're running. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, like I said, this deck, the defense is st so strong. I genuinely believe that you can win any matchup. If this kills the bats... Okay, I'm going to go in. Oggy Woggies here. Behind the berry. Nice. We first had a Mega Knight. That's honestly fine with me. We're going to try and pull everything to the middle like so. Go like this. And that's a lot of stuff on our King Tower, to be completely honest. So I'm going to have to eat those wall breakers and just be happy with our defense, as is. So now that we know that we have Mega Knight, uh, we're going to make sure that we do the same thing that we did in our previous matchup, splitting our Royal Hogs, not giving them a lot of value. And all things considered, like with the amount of Elixir, elixir that they had on that counter push, I think we defended very, very well. So I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, my bomber is going to be sacrificed here. Yeah, but King Tower helps out a ton in this matchup. It helps out with the Miner, it helps out with the Bandit, uh, helps out with a ton of stuff. So I don't think this deck usually runs a big spell either. So um, we very, very much can make this comeback. So I'm going to split my Royal Hogs here. Then King Tower is actually going to help out with um, that Miner. So I'm just going to let it go. And you can see those Royal Hogs are going to get a ton of damage on that lane. So I made a video recently on the deck that this guy's running, and it's really, really good, honestly. It has a lot of good pressure, but like I said, no big spell, so comeback potential is definitely there for us. Skeletons, keep my little prince healthy. Goes for that early. I'm going to pop my ability early and barely keep my little prince alive, so that's perfect. It's fine. Forced out a lot of elixir from them. Okay, Evo Berry here. Going to help paint everything up. Okay. We're going to have a nice little counter push. So if he goes for the Mega Knight in that lane, I was going to say we're going to get a lot of value with our berry here. Yep. Yep. Evil berry going in. And I think we're going to actually take their tower because they overspend and they don't have enough for a Mega Knight right away. So that's tower down right there. We have our Evo Skeletons in cycle as well, which is going to help a ton with this defense. Okay. Okay. World delivery here. My man's honestly probably just going to spam the bridge. I'm going to go like this. Messed up those evil skeletons, I think. Oh, no. No, we're Gucci. Okay. Barry like this. Little Prince like this. My man is spamming everything at the bridge. Help me! Help me! Uh, we tried. All right. Chill, chill, chill. Reset. We get a little bit of extra content for y'all. Delivery comes down. I tried to defend. We didn't get as much value out of our Evo Skeletons as we wanted, so... Over time. Bomber comes down. Like I mentioned, no big spell, so we're going to pull this in with our Skeletons. Okay, kind of an aggressive zap, I feel. Okay, I kind of want him to play a Mega Knight here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go like this, in hopes that they play a Mega Knight. Perfect. There's the Evo Berry. There's the Evo Berry. Evo Berry on the tower. Evo Berry becoming a secondary win condition, which is absolutely disgusting. Uh, messed up those Evo Skeletons, but we're still fine. Okay, Royal Delivery's gonna come down. Beautiful. And that Evo Berry might have gotten us enough damage to win the game. Honestly, if we just buckle up and defend. So we're just gonna chill here. We're just gonna chill, not panic. Like I said, they don't have a big spell. So whenever you're playing a deck that, that doesn't have a big spell, they're going to try it. Your opponent's going to try and overwhelm you. You just need to keep a cool head. Okay. Evil Berry comes down. We're going to go in with the Hog EQ. He's definitely going to Mega Knight, but remember, we have the Evil Bomber there. Yeah, he's scared to do it because we have the Evil Bomber in hand. Good Bandit, honestly. But now at this point, we can just cycle Hog Earthquake, and there's really no way that they break through. We're going to pull the Mega Knight to our King Tower. We're going to go to with our Little Prince. And GG's against Mega Knight at top ladder. We'll go ahead and see you on the next one. We know our next match here against Gabrielle. And as this season comes to a close, I'm curious to see what everyone's opinions are about this next upcoming season. We're going to take our King Tower activation here. I know I'm really excited. I get really excited whenever there's just a change, you know. I love that they're constantly updating the game. 
every month, you know, new balance changes, things like that. So I'm really looking forward to what's to come. Okay. I'm going to split my hogs here. Especially when you don't know what they're running, splitting hogs is a really good move. I'm going to Earthquake to take care of that Skarmy. Eventually. <laughs> Slowly. Uh, we're going to get a ton of damage. So arrows, firecracker, could be a lot of things. Uh, my initial gut is hog rider, but we don't know for sure. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, golem. Interesting. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and drop our Tesla. It's nice that they didn't play golem all the way in the back. And we're going to do what this deck was made to do. And get a ton of damage on the golem and a ton of damage onto the king tower. Or on the princess tower. And then look at how disgusting this is. Like, if you're wondering why this is getting nerfed next season, that's why. Wow, that's absolutely absurd. This push is dead here. Once the ice spirit jumps, we're then going to go for our skeletons. We're going to pressure with royal hogs. And... What is this guy's deck? Unfortunate timing with the Sparky, honestly, but they won't really have enough Elixir to support the Sparky and make, like, a really big push. We know that their spell is Arrows, so we're going to keep that in mind as we defend here. I'm going to take the Earthquake. <laughs> this dude's nuts. And Delivery, one of the best answers in the game for the Sparky because of the shield. My man goes for the pre-log. It doesn't work out. And uh, this is most likely going to be Tower Down here. We're going to go in for the Royal Hogs and seal this game. And at that point, all we really have to do is defend. He doesn't have Skarmy in hand. He's maybe going to play a late Sparky, make one more big push. So as long as we defend this last push, we're golden. Sparky clone golem. This dude, I feel like he's just running with like a random deck generator or something like that. That's the vibes that I get. So we're going to Tesla early. And we're actually going to Skeletons early, just more so to cycle to get to our Evos. as Also to help DPS down that giant or that golem as quickly as possible. Okay, Bomber here. Okay, this is all going to get taken care of, unfortunately. Okay. Evo Berry here. And Evo Skeleton's going to clean everything up. And that Sparky is one shot. Delivery. Tesla. Skeletons. And, uh... Points to this man for creativity on the deck, but this deck is kind of garbage. <laughs> so, good game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take the dub, and we'll move on to the next one. So, we'll see you there. All right, into our next match against Antonio. So far, we haven't lost a game. Don't want to jinx it, but I feel like the competition is hasn't been that crazy so far. Might be going up against our first minor poison control deck, like I mentioned. Pretty strong deck. We're going to do some split lane pressure here. And glad that we did, honestly. So yeah, it looks like they're going to be playing the Remy Ali deck, like Miner, Magic Archer, and Edo, um, with the Bomb Tower. So this is a really common deck, a top top ladder. They have a Tornado, they have a Magic Archer, they have a Knight. They oftentimes have Wall Breakers. Um, so we're going to keep that in mind. We actually have a good, good answers to all of those things. So I'm going to go like this, and then I'm actually going to let that other Wall Breaker connect. It'll just even out the damage. If you're quick enough, you can actually split Skeletons to counter that, but I was not quick enough. Okay. I think he's back to a bomb tower already. No, he's not. Oh, he has a delivery. Interesting. Okay, we're going to bury like this. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. It's a, literally a secondary win condition. <laughs> it's crazy. Nice. Little Prince uh, doesn't do as much damage as we would have wanted him to do, but he did his best. Okay, he's going to get a lot of damage here. Uh, but we're going to hopefully have a nice counter push. We'll see. Okay, yeah, he can't afford the bomb tower right away, so he's going to eat a lot of damage here. Interesting that he has an earthquake. Or, sorry, not an earthquake. That he has a delivery in here. That feels kind of weird. Barry here is going to help clean everything up. Or would have helped clean everything up. So we're going to go with our Evo Skeletons. Maybe he has delivery instead of poison or something like that. That's a possibility. Or instead of NATO, maybe he has a delivery, because it usually doesn't run log and delivery. It's usually log and tornado. So this dude's running a weird variation, but so far, I'm not too concerned. Like I said, I don't know if he has a big spell yet, so I'm going to cycle Little Prince in the same lane. Still try and see, but my intuition tells me that he doesn't have a big spell. Okay, they're leaking. Great timing there. Could not have been better. We're going to pop our ability here and get ready with a pre-earthquake on whatever he plays. Even if he doesn't play anything, we're getting value. Nice. Good Ice Spirit by us. He goes for the log. Whenever they pre-log like that, it usually means that the Miner's in the front. 
Evo Bomber here is going to help out with everything. Offense and defense. We're going to take an Earthquake onto everything. Help our little piggies break through. No Bobby delivery on them. Nope, he delivered on the bomber instead, which was a good choice. Okay, we need to be ready here. Yep, lot, lots of pressure, skeletons. He gives us delivery value at the bridge. I definitely think that's a mistake. We're going to go in here. He cycles his log. I don't think he'll have enough to get his bomb tower right away. If he does, it's going to be late. Um, so that's going to be a good game to our opponent. They played it kind of weird. Um, surprised at the, the combination of cards that they had. No big spell is interesting. Um, but nonetheless, good game. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and catch y'all in the next one. And starting plays, uh, split skeletons, split ice spirit are probably the best things that you can play. I got my delivery down late there. Oops. Oops. He's going to get some, some nice chip to start off with. My fault. But we're just going to chill. Excuse me, don't you mm -mm -mm. No need to panic. No need to panic. Okay, so Lumberjack, Dark Goblin aren't... They're not speaking to me right off the bat in terms of what they could be. So we're just going to go like this. Our level 13 little prince is going to do his best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Don't get that much damage, honestly. Still trying to 100% figure out what the rest of their deck is. We're going to ignore that right side and we're going to drop our skellies here. We have our Evo Berry and Psychic Cycle. Again, every other berry is an evolved one. Okay, we're not going to mess up the delivery timing this time. I've decided. Okay, he does that. So we're going to go like this. We're going to Skeleton Surround. And then we're going to go for an Ice Spirit here. Hmm, interesting. Firecracker, okay. Oh, Firecracker almost choked that. He's going to get a King Tower Activation. No, he's not, actually. I'm tempted to go for my King Tower Activation. I think I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, it's probably worth it in this matchup. You don't 100% know their entire win conditions yet, but King Tower activation is always so big. Go for a low Tesla as well. Out of the range where you can snipe it with the Dark Goblin is what I'm really concerned about. Okay. Really fortunate for us that we have our King Tower activated here. We're going to be able to negate most of the spam. I think he's just running like a spam deck. That's pretty common. Uh... With Royal Recruits, you can kind of just throw spam cards in your deck and, and hope that it works, that most people won't be able to defend. So that's kind of what it looks like. Um, we'll see, though. Skeleton's low here. And I'm going to pressure opposite lane. Yeah, I definitely knew he was going to play something into that lane. Okay, Lumberjack and Dark Goblin aren't going to work 100%. I'm going to pop this ability early. I want my little prince to lock on do some work here we're gonna get some really nice delivery value on this side it's gonna help with the lumberjack and it's gonna help with the dark goblin tesla here evil oh that's supposed to be evil berry oops okay evil berry here and so far so good rohogs ended up kind of working but he's gonna have a, a nasty little counter push in this lane so we're gonna drop our little prince okay evil recruits come down so here's what we're gonna do Gonna go like this. Then Ice Spirit here towards our Tesla. Evil Skeletons are gonna clean up the other side. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this dude's win condition is spam. <laughs> so hopefully we can go ahead and bring it together. We're already we're at a small deficit, but now that we figured out exactly what their deck is, um, I think if we defend properly and pressure at, at the right times, we're gonna be okay. Okay. Evil Berry here. Such a monster, dude. Look at him go. Okay, I think he's going to recruits on this. I'm going to pop the ability. No recruits just yet. There they are. Okay. Okay, well, that's good delivery value. We're going to Evo Skeletons here. Good Evo Skeletons keep us alive, honestly. Okay, he's being really aggressive on that lane. Might be our time to go in here. I think they've kind of overspent, to be honest. Yeah, we're definitely going to go in here. All he has is troops, from what I can tell. So Evo Berry is going to get a lot of value, most likely. Yeah, and just like that, we were losing the entire game. Like, no joke, we were losing that entire game. We were patient, we waited for our time to go in, and we uh, we got the death. So GG's to our opponent, we'll go ahead and catch y'all in the next one. To our next match against Hugh. And, uh, okay, okay, alright, okay, okay, alright, well... Well, see you on the next one.
go into our next match here against Frank. He's in the CRL Esports Pro Clan. So maybe we maybe we found some good comp. I'm gonna cycle my bomber. I think that is might be literally the best play that you can make with this deck is cycling your bomber, because then the very next one you have will be an evolution bomber. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and split hogs here. Nice, good timing. I did I know they had a firecracker? No, but that works. Firecracker gonna get taken care of. And another Mega Knight deck. Yeah, not surprised. We're gonna try and get our King Tower activated here, so I'm gonna drop the delivery and hope that the Mega Knight jumps on it. In hopes of pulling it to our King Tower. Like so. And that didn't really work, did it? Mm. Yeah. Unfortunate for us, honestly. Okay. But now we are tasked with bringing this game back, and I'm all for it. So we're going to go with Royal Hogs a bit ahead of our Barry here. Um, mostly because I don't want him to make a Knight onto everything. Right? Like, I want him to have to pick what he's going to make a Knight onto. And I know we took a lot of damage there, but they really did spend a lot of Elixir. So... I think it's only right that we, we get a lot of our damage back. And in fact, we actually pretty much evened up the damage disadvantage that we had going on. So, okay. Mm, I'm going to eat one firecracker shot here. Okay. Nice. And we survive. Ice Spirit here. And I think we're going to be able to win this game. I know we didn't have the best start. We kind of messed up the King Tower activation. They pressured well, but I think we're going to be able to clutch up this game. Mark my words. At this point, I'm more concerned about defending because in a two-tower game, I don't think we have an advantage. I'm guessing that's going to be in the safe spot, exactly. Um, because because of the King Tower activation, it kind of made sense for him to play that in the safe spot. Okay, they did that. We're going to go with the Hog Split, only because they have the Mega Knight. So, uh, the lane that he wants to defend is that one. Exactly. Okay. That's perfect for us. Okay, we know he has Wall Breakers, so we need to be careful. We're gonna go like this, and Little Prince and King Tower are all gonna help DPS this down. So pretty well defended by me, even with an underleveled Little Prince, in my opinion. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go like this, pull everything in. We need to save the delivery for that gang. Good zap by him, honestly. But we have a nice little counter push. I know he's probably gonna drop a Mega Knight on this, so I don't really want to support this with Hogs. Yep, there it is. But now we're gonna force out a lot of Elixir onto this lane, hopefully. Yep. And he doubled down on pressuring instead of defending there. Maybe it was the move. I don't know. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to just distract this. And that's a good game. And, you know, they actually played really well. Um, but we ended up defending. And like I said, you can always come back with this deck. You have such strong defense, such strong pressure. So good game to this gentleman. We'll see you in the next one. I did our next match here against Alex. And I have both of my pre-evolutions in hand. I'm going to give them the good luck. Split skeletons in the back. And then if they don't do anything, you can split. Or you can play a bomber. So he goes like that. Um, I'm just going to immediately pressure. Yeah, guards are fine. Um, yeah, you can't just let him really get away with free pressure. Or a Lava Hound in the back first play. Absolutely bonkers. I'm going to go like this. If he has a Fireball, he can actually get my Little Prince off the board. Yeah, no surprise. That's annoying, but <laughs> it is what it is. You can still outplay people even if your cards are underleveled, so I'm not too worried about it. Gave me delivery value here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just like that, we're fine. We actually, despite you know our Little Prince getting Fireballed, Found ourselves in a good situation where we're up a little bit of damage. And we know that they're running Lava Hound. So, life is good. I'm going to bury in the opposite lane. And then if they go in for the Lava, we're going to pressure with Royal Hogs. I'm going to Ice Spirit as well. I mean, even if they... Okay, he goes for that. I said, those are still going to do... Those are still going to do work. Okay. So, Fireball. And Arrows are the big spell. I'm going to Little Prince here. And he can go for a Fireball if he so chooses. Little Prince gonna do his best, that's all I can say. <laughs> Alright. I thought I thought that he played a Lava Hound, but it was actually the Inferno Dragon. Okay, so he does that. I'm gonna go like this. And then like this. So if he plays guards, it's gonna get munched up. Yeah, he goes for a fireball. Well played, actually. Won't have fireball for my Tesla here though, so that will be nice. Most likely he's gonna support it with skeleton dragons, that would be my guess. 
So what we're gonna do... I don't even think he has arrows in hand, to be completely honest. We're gonna go like this. Ice Spirit's gonna jump on everything. Tesla's actually targeting the Skeleton Dragons. So that's perfect. And we're good here. Tesla should clean everything up. I'm the Little Prince here to help DPS this down. And then it's gonna help um, with that Eye Dragon as well. Goes for the arrows. Okay. I wish I had the Evolved Bomber, but it's not in hand right now. Little Prince is going to come down. Like I said, he can spell it here if he so chooses, and he does so choose. That's fine with me. Lava Clone, what timing. Okay. My man getting really aggressive here, I ain't even going to lie. Um, he spent a lot on that push, and I think these Evo Skeletons are going to give him a hard time. Yeah. Good patience from us. I'm trying to press him while his elixir is low. Exactly. And honestly, I just kind of want to put it into spell range. Okay. These ha these uh, barbarians are blocking the bridge. Ah, uh, yeah. We can pretty much uh, just cycle earthquakes at this point. We're going to go like this. Evil Barry way over here. And he's probably going to spam the bridge, mostly because that's like really the only thing that they can do in this situation to win. So we're going to go with our hogs here. We're going to go with an earthquake. He has to go for defensive fireball. And I believe one more earthquake will take the game. So we're just going to chill. Not panic. We have so much answers for their spam. Skeletons to pull everything up high. And then we're going to go for a hog EQ. And my man is not really going to be able to defend. So pressure is on. We're going to say good game. They gave us the well played. I think so too. You know, not necessarily the easiest matchup, but we absolutely have answers for Lava Hound. So, well played to this guy or girl, and we'll go ahead and catch y'all in the next one. All right, into likely our final match of the video against Burton from Elite Louisiana. And he's running the Cannoneer, and I don't know how I feel about that. We're going to just cycle our Bomber into those Archers. Cannoneer does good against, like, big tanks. I think it does decently against Royal Hogs, too. Okay. We're just taking turns, cycling cards in the back, so it's all good. I don't want to pop the ability, so I'm just going to drop a delivery instead. Keep my little prince barely alive. Yeah, meh, I don't, I don't know about that. Oh, oh, okay. Right, we're going to pull that to the king tower. Beautiful. Good King Tower activation from us. Delivery here. And bippity boppity boo, we're in business. Well defended by us. It's so scary when you're playing against Mega Knight. It's really easy to mess up that King Tower activation. But at this point, I've done it twice. So hopefully you learn or you've learned how to activate the King Tower. That's one of the more common King Tower activations in the game though. So y'all are probably pretty familiar with that one already. Ice Spirit Skeletons here, or Evo Skeletons, gonna carry. And Evo Skeletons are a nightmare for people that use Cannoneer. Like, it's really, really annoying for them. Yeah, he went for the Wizard. And I, I don't know, is that still gonna hit? My man played a Wizard, and the Evo Skeletons still got on the tower. That is how rough it is to run Cannoneer right now. Oh my gosh, I feel bad. Okay, we know he has a Mega Knight. Um, I don't think he has enough Elixir to play it, though. Yeah, we're just gonna delivery here. And sacrifice our uh, Royal Recruit to the Musketeer. Yeah, it is what it is. What it is. Got to make sacrifices. We're gonna tie Z here. Try and pull in the Valkyrie as well as the Muskie, like that. And at this point, I'm just gonna split lane, and then I'm gonna probably go for a Berry if he drops like a Mega Knight. Mm, not in that lane though. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get ready with our delivery here. Delivery on the Firecracker, most likely. Might even Barry. Only because Barry splashes so far. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Going for this Evo Bomber here. Gonna go for Skeletons. Didn't really work the way I wanted it to, but that's gonna be Tower Down. Nice. Very, very nice. Evo Barry is such a menace, dude. Oh my gosh. It's no joke been a secondary win, co win condition for me. Unironically. Mm, good Evo Firecracker, but it honestly doesn't even matter. We can kind of just stall out this game. Go for a high Tesla here. Go for a World Delivery in case they go for Wall Breakers. There they are. 
and uh, just outplay. So if you struggle with Mega Knight, I just showed, you can have underleveled cards, you can still outplay them. So GG's, we'll go ahead and catch y'all in the next one. That's gonna do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time. Absolute. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Here is the deck one more time if you wanna take a screenshot once again. And please give this deck a try. It's so much fun. You almost have no bad matchups, even if you're playing against Mega Knight or Wizard or Splash Shard or anything like that. This deck, you can, you can win. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time in case you wanna take a screenshot. Please consider giving this deck a try. I promise you it's really good and it's really fun. You can outplay any matchup uh, if you're skilled enough. So hopefully you learned something and you enjoyed the content and I'll see you in another video real soon.